to my channel in today's video i'm gonna create this beautiful glamorous wedding guest indian makeup look and this is a makeup look that i have created only using products under rupees 500 each and not only that this makeup look is very very mask friendly or mask proof as well can you even believe i have created this gorgeous and glamorous makeup look using affordable products that are under rupees 500 because it definitely looks like i have used some high-end products it is that beautiful but if you want to know how I created this beautiful and glamorous Indian wedding guest makeup look, then please do continue watching. First thing first, I have already cleansed my face using my favorite Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser. This is a really, really gentle and mild facial cleanser. It gently removes all the dirts and impurities and maintains the pH level of the skin. So it feels quite hydrating and not um, completely rip off the moisture away from the skin. Now to moisturize my skin, I'm going to use the Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion, which is another favorite. I'm just going to apply and blend and massage it all over the face and neck in upward strokes it is an excellent moisturizer for hydration and also this sits so beautifully underneath your makeup it kind of acts as a primer as well um, it just helps your makeup to grip onto this properly it's also very important that you moisturize your lips so i'm using the uh, neutrogena lip balm here to nourish my lips as well now I'm going to begin with the makeup. I'm using the Miss Claire Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. This also comes with a spoolie. And this is such an excellent eyebrow pencil in a budget. It's really nice, perfect to do your eyebrows. It is very well um, pigmented as well. The right amount of pigment for an eyebrow product. So yeah, I'm just using that to fill in my brows and to define it. Once my brows are done, I'm going to take the Swiss Beauty Liquid Concealer in the shade 06 and I'm going to apply this as a base for my eyeshadow on top of my eyelids and also to clean under the bottom area of my eyebrows like I usually do. This is a couple of shades lighter than my skin tone so my eyeshadow will pop more on this concealer. I'm using my pack 215 Concealer Blending Brush to blend out the concealer. The coverage of this concealer is about medium to buildable full coverage. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Mars Fantasy 15 eyeshadow palette. This is a beautiful, rosy, mauvey, neutral toned eyeshadow palette. And the quality of these eyeshadows are amazing as well. I'm going to pick up this rosy, mauve, matte eyeshadow on a blending brush first. And then I'm just going to apply this all over the crease and also take it very close to my eyebrow region. Sort of blowing it all out, making sure that the eyeshadow is well blended. Then I'm going to take this um, sort of a dark marcella brown shade and mixing it with the previous eyeshadow that I used, both are mattes, on a tapered blending brush and I'm just going to try to define and deepen up the crease area. Again, I'm going to making sure that the um, eyeshadow is well blended on the crease. This mask um, eyeshadow palette is really, really nice. It has a lot of pigmentation, blends nicely on the eyes and the shimmers as well as the mattes pop on your eyelids. I'm using the same eyeshadow to define my outer V as well. Then I'm going to take this beautiful shimmery champagne gold eyeshadow on a flat eyeshadow brush and apply that very close to the inner corners of my eyes and also sort of on the center of my eyelids but not um, all the way to the outer corners of my eyes and keeping it under the crease area and here you can see how well pigmented these eyeshadows are. Next, I'm going to take this mauve shimmer eyeshadow on the same brush but flipped on to the other side and I'm just going to apply this where the gold and um, the matte marcella shade meets. So this is just going to create a smooth transition between the eyeshadows. Thank you. 
For primer today, I'm using the Mars Taker Glow Primer. This is the shade Light Beam, which is like a pale, um, really pale gold um, shimmery primer. It has these tiny little shimmery particles, which adds a lot of glow to your face while priming your face underneath your uh, foundation and concealer and everything. So I'm just applying and blending this product. This is just gonna give you that lit from within look underneath your foundation. Next, I'm gonna use a bit of a trick here. I'm using this Swiss Beauty Makeup Fixer and just spraying that before applying any sort of concealer or foundation on my face. This is just gonna make sure that the foundation on top is gonna grip properly and doesn't move. I'm gonna color correct my face using the Mars Orange Color Corrector. This is sort of a sheer orange color corrector. It doesn't really have a lot of pigmentation to it. It just adds a little veil of coverage. So I'm just applying that all over the hyperpigmentation and also on my dark circles. I'm using my damp beauty blender to blend out the color corrector here. For foundation, I'm using my Lakme 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Liquid Foundation in the shade um, Cool Walnut, I think. I'll put the exact shade name in the description box. But yeah, I'm just applying that all over the face and then I'm gonna blend it out using my damp beauty blender again. Although the foundation looks a little bit um, lighter here, it kind of adjusts to my skin tone in a while, meaning it oxidizes and adjusts to my own complexion. And this foundation is very, very liquidy and easy to work with. It's got this runny, fluidy texture to it. It just blends nicely on the face and you can build this to a higher coverage as well. It totally depends on how many um, layers you use. Whatever is left on the sponge, I'm just applying that to my neck. Again, taking the Swiss Beauty Concealer and just gonna highlight and conceal my under eyes first. So I'm applying that to my inner corners and outer corners of my under eyes and also gonna highlight the center of my face. And I'm gonna use my concealer blending brush again from Pack to blend all of this out. This concealer again has a runny fluid sort of a formula so it's very easy for you to blend and work with it um, it has about medium to buildable full coverage so you can build it up according to your liking and the kind of coverage you like again I'm gonna pick up my swiss beauty makeup fixer and spray it all over my face once again before setting it with some powder just making sure that it's a bit dry before i apply my powder this is just going to make sure that your makeup lasts throughout the day without budging For powder, I'm using the Mars Translucent Powder in the shade Banana, which is a loose powder and it has a beautiful banana tint to it. So I'm taking that um, on my beauty blender once again, a generous amount of the powder and just pressing it gently on my under eyes and also alongside my nose. This is just gonna make sure that the nose looks more sharper and also on my T-zone area and around my mouth because these are the areas where I tend to crease. And also, I'm just gonna show you another trick if you're wearing a mask just apply a generous amount of the loose powder wherever your mask sits right across your face like so and also on your jawline uh, this is where your mask usually sits right so this is going to make sure that the mask doesn't remove or budge any of your foundation or base makeup and also on the tip of my nose because your mask sort of hits your nose while it is on so make sure you pick that area as well and this is just going to prevent any sort of creasing or budging then i'm gonna move on to the eyes i'm using the revlon kajal pencil this is an amazing underrated kajal pencil it is super super jet black very very long lasting and really really creamy so i'm applying a nice coat of it to my lower waterline as well as my lower lash line and also using the same kajal to tight line my eyes i simply shut my eyes and run the kajal to tight line my eyes Again, I'm going to pick up the same mauve rosy matte eyeshadow on a tapered brush and just applying that right where the kajal sort of ends to make it look more softer and smushed out.
Then I'm gonna take the deep Marcella matte brown shade on an angled brush and just gonna apply that very, very precisely on my uh, lower lash line, very, very close to my water lines, right where I applied the kajal. This is just gonna make sure that the gradient um, on your lower lash line as well is nicely transitioned. Once my um, eyeshadow work is done, I'm just gonna take a powder brush and brush off all of the excess powder that has been sitting on my face. By this time, your powder must have baked really nicely and just gonna set and lock everything in place. I'm also setting the rest of the face as well using a light layer of the same loose powder. Loose powders tend to set your face properly. If you have oily skin, try this trick. You'll be really amazed to see the results. For eyeliner, I'm using another favorite um, liquid eyeliner. This is from Color Essence. This is called their Supreme Black Eyeliner. Love this eyeliner. It is super jet black, very, very easy to use um, brush tip, and it is quite long lasting as well. I love this much more than the Lacme eyeliner. It's a very, very smooth formula and it is so nice on the eyes. So I'm creating a nice, bold, thick winged eyeliner on both my eyes. For mascara, I'm using the Mars Fabulash Mascara. I absolutely love and adore this mascara. It really compares to any other high-end mascara. It is that amazing. So I'm just applying several coats of this to my top and bottom eyelashes. This adds beautiful separation, volume and length to your eyelashes. I just absolutely love this. Now I'm going to take the Dazzler Classic Compact Powder in the shade Contour to contour my face which is a beautiful deep chocolatey brown shade of a compact powder. It is super super affordable. So I'm just applying that wherever I usually chisel my face such as the hollows of the cheeks, um, the perimeters of my forehead, the jawline and also the sides of my nose and also under my lower lip. This is a very, very inexpensive, really good dark brown compact powder. So you can really try it out if you're on a budget or if you have dusky or deeper Indian complexion. For blusher, I'm using the Sugar Cosmetics um, Contour Diffuse Mini Blusher in the shade Mauve Marble, which is a beautiful blusher shade again for dusky and deeper Indian complexions. It's a nice mauve rosy toned uh, blusher and it is completely matte. So I'm just applying that in a sculpting way on my cheeks today. This is just going to lift my face further. For highlighter, I'm using the Swiss Beauty Fusion Baked Highlighter. This is in a gold shade. I love this highlighter again. It's very, very inexpensive and so good in quality. It really pops on your skin. So I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbone. Especially if you have dusky skin, you should absolutely try this particular shade. It's beautiful. I'm also highlighting the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, and also the inner corners and my brow bone. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking this Swiss Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate. This comes in a set of 12, um, so I'm using one of those. This is a nice lip liner, especially if you're on a budget. But make sure that you prep your lips properly before applying this eyeliner so that the um, lip liner glides properly. So yeah, I'm just trying to overdraw my lips and this uh, particular shade goes with any sort of lipstick that you wear if you're on the duskier category of skin tone. For lipstick, I'm using the Lacme Forever Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade New Dream, which is a beautiful muted, mauve rosy, nudish um, lipstick shade. I absolutely love this on my skin tone. So I'm just applying that to my entire lips. It's a very, very long lasting formula as well and so inexpensive. And I think this lipstick shade goes really well with this makeup look. For eyelashes, I'm using the Swiss Beauty eyelashes in the style drama off camera and also I use my Miss Claire dark um, eyelash adhesive glue. So yeah, I just applied the lashes off camera and also did my hair. And here you can see how beautiful these lashes look. They are super comfortable yet dramatic um, eyelashes. They feel very, very lightweight on your eyes. They are amazing in quality. One last time, I'm going to use my Swiss Beauty Makeup Fixer to set and lock everything in place. So yeah, I'm just holding it from a distance and just setting and locking my entire makeup in place. 
I went off camera, put on my dupatta and jewelry, and here is the final finished look. It is such a beautiful Indian wedding guest makeup look, especially for brown skin tones. This is gonna look really amazing. And here is a quick little test um, whether to check if it is mask proof or not. Just pressing the mask a little bit and just removing it. And here you go. There is no transfer or budging anywhere on the mask. The mask is completely white, so you can see how well this makeup sits under a mask and also it is on a budget as well super amazing right so yeah this is the final finished look under a budget i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video all the products that i used in this video will be listed in the description box so if you enjoyed watching this video make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel also follow me on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box. And this is it. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye. Bye.